Alright guys, well, I'm going to teach you how to find the values of c from the intermediate value theorem for the integrals of the function f of x is equal to x minus 2 squared on the interval from of 1 to 4. So, to begin, we start off by uh, finding the average, claiming that f average is equal to a function of c. So, we know the f average is also equal to is also equal to the integral from a to b of f of x dx divided by b minus a so with that being said we could set this equation also equal to the integral from 1 to 4 of our function which is going to be x minus 2 squared d of x all divided by 4 minus 1 so <clears throat> let me simplify that a little more we set that equal to the integral of 1 4 of x minus 2 squared dx over 3 so we could take out our constant which is going to be 3 which is going to equal to 1 third Here's the integral of x minus 2 squared dx. And then we can FOIL this out or multiply it out, which will give us 1 third the integral of 1 4 of x squared minus 4x plus 4 dx, we could split the integral into multiple parts by our um, sum rule. So this is going to be equal to, the, so one third times the integral from one four of x squared dx minus the integral of four x dx, and this is from one four as well, plus the integral from one four of four dx and then we close the parent or brackets. So once we have that, we can further simplify, which will give us one third times, and this is going to be x cubed over three from one to four minus, and this is going to be parentheses. This is going to be 2x squared from 1 to 4 and then this is going to be plus and then we simplify that which is just going to be 4x from 1 to 4 so that's going to be our simplified integral which is going to equal to 1 third and we can further simplify which is going to be 4 cubed over 3 minus 1 over 3 and then minus 2x or 2 to the fourth 2 times 4 squared sorry 2 times 4 squared minus 2 times 1 squared plus and then 4 times 4 minus 4 times 1 so once we f we can simplify this even more 1 third times and 4 cubed well actually we could just do a little number crunching on the calculator and we will get 21 minus 30 plus 12 and all that multiplied by 1 third we do a little more number crunching which will equal to one third times three and this will equal out to one so this is our average so this is going to be f average and now we have to find a c value where the average is equal to the function and the way we do that is we set our f average equal to f of c which is what we claimed here as well 
So our f of c is going to equal 1. And then this is our f of x. So then we can just replace this x with a c. So then it's going to be c minus 2 squared is equal to 1. And then so it's equal to 1. And then we could just do take the square root of 1, which is c minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1. And then the square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. So then we could take it over here. And then we can claim that c minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 1. And then c is equal to 2 plus or minus 1. So then we have two values of c, which will give us c is equal to 3 or c is equal to 1. And that is how you find your values for c, which equals the average.